Hi everyone, it's Linda. Welcome back to my channel. I wanted to share with you uh, my Black Friday order that I placed with Troll Beats Partridge Creek. Um, the bulk of my order was for um, a new jewelry case, which is what you always see me filming uh, my videos on and uh, what a lovely problem to have to actually kind of need to have a new one. But um, I wanted to share the other things that I purchased. If you would like for me to uh, film a separate video of just the jewelry case while it is still pristine and not filled up with beads and uh, for the most part uh, timber for free, um, I'd be more than happy to do so. Just let me know in the comments if that's something you're interested in. But um, as you can see, they uh, kind of packaged it really fun. Like I have two little boxes over here. I have a larger box here. And then I have my candies, my thank you card. And I had specifically asked for um, one of the last little brochures from the latest collection. So let me get everything out of the cellophane and um, I will show you what I got. So in my order, they always include a thank you card, which I always appreciate. And I'll just read this um, offline later. But uh, I thought this was uh, kind of interesting. I've never seen this little um, brochure and uh, it does say every story has a bead. And it talks about, you know, the, the steps, you know, select a bracelet, select a lock, and select beads that tell your story. And then continue your bracelet with stories, symbols, and memories. And just kind of talks about how their glass beads are handmade. Um, you know, talks about starting your story today. If you've ever seen uh, a Troll Beads catalog, this family picture, um, is in there and I'm not sure if it's entirely family there might be some um, of the other designers but you know I thought this was kind of a, a cool little um, brochure and then the newest um, brochure uh, normally it's like this big fold out thing and this one is a folded little booklet and it's showing here the Always Together bracelet and then, you know, some of the newer beads and, you know, how they've styled it uh, with some of the older beads. Um, very nice little brochure. So I'm really, really happy that I asked for one of these. So that is the little brochure just so you can see it all right so let me um, share with you let's see I'm gonna go with the smallest box first and let's see here I just love how they have wrapped everything up individually in ribbon and tissue paper. And let's see what we have. Okay, and I see um, a couple of beads here. So let me show you what I have. So one of the glass beads that I purchased is this one here, and this is Fantasy Orchids. This is a bead that came out a year or two ago, um, and I had purchased the kit that had this particular bead in it, but the beads themselves look so similar. There's like an orange blossom and a fantasy orchid. I always felt like maybe I got two of the same bead and I guess my understanding is that the fantasy orchid has more of a um, 
apricot color to it. So um, I did, just to be on the safe side, uh, choose one of the um, Fantasy Orchid beads. And uh, yeah, I'll have to find my other two and kind of compare. Because uh, who knows, maybe I did get, uh, you know, one of each with the original kit and I'll just have a duplicate of the one. I don't know. It's a very pretty bead and you can definitely see kind of that um, apricot hue in the flowers. So this one here is uh, Fantasy Orchid. And then this bead here the other bead I got uh, is this one here, and it is just called Blanket of Hearts. And this is just a uh, round bead that is just completely covered with hearts, uh, just going in every direction possible. Uh, and it is you know, fairly open where you can see, obviously, you'll be able to see the bangle or the chain going through. But um, I saw this used recently with one of the new uh, beads from the new collection. And um, I really liked how it looked. And uh, with Valentine's Day coming up, uh, never hurts to have um, a beautiful heart themed bead in your collection. So this one is Blanket of Hearts. Now in this particular box, I think I know just because of the box what is possibly in here. And this one I'm really excited to see in person. Let me get it out. All right, so. This is exactly what I thought it was going to be. This is the Hawthorne ring. Let me um, get this out so I can show it to you. So this is the Hawthorne with pearl ring. And this was designed by Soren Neeson. And uh, it has, uh, you know, flowers and leaves of the hawthorn um, hiding a small uh, freshwater pearl. Um, it is just such a beautiful design. Like you can see it has a fairly thin band and it has a couple of leaves along each side along with those beautiful hawthorn flowers and the pearl. And I got this um, in a size 58. That way I can kind of switch up all the different fingers um, that I wear it on. And I do apologize. I should have thought, you know, I wanted to get this uh, filmed while the light is still good. So I have not had a chance to make my nails look a little prettier. So I apologize in advance for that, especially in light of the fact that I'm showing a beautiful ring. But um, yeah, this ring here is absolutely a beauty and it is made by my favorite designer of troll beads. Uh, so that is the beautiful Hawthorne with Pearl. All right, and then for the final box, Pretty sure I'm remembering my order. So the final box, I have two more beads, and then this is actually a foxtail necklace. Um, let me get everything out. So I did, uh, you know, treat myself just to a basic here. Um, this is a I believe it was a 23.6 inch um, foxtail necklace. And of course, it fastens uh, with a lock just like your normal foxtail bracelet does. And like if I ever need to make this longer, of course, I can attach an actual foxtail bracelet uh, with um, a lock and fashion a longer necklace. But 
uh, this with it being a 23.6 inch um, necklace it falls just right above my chest uh, it doesn't feel like it's gonna choke me um, I've already kind of uh, just kind of put it around my neck um, just to kind of test it out and it uh, falls beautifully on me so um, nothing too spectacular here but uh, definitely a wonderful troll beads basic that I'm very happy that I now have so that is my foxtail necklace. And then a glass bead uh, that I chose is this simple glass bead right here. And um, I'm wanting to call it Garden Path. And that might very well be the old name before it was renamed. Um, if it is actually named something different now, I'll put it down here. But this came out, I believe, spring 2022. And it is just a uh, cream opaque base, um, as you can see, very opaque. And it has this almost like maze pattern or garden path pattern. Uh, that is done kind of in that shimmery, um, coppery glitter finish there. And this is definitely one uh, that I have been wanting in my collection. Actually, let me just show you these two. Um, this one, I can't remember if this was fall or spring. It might have been the same time that this one released. And of course, they always release a smooth kit and then a faceted kit. Um, I'll try to put the names of the kits uh, in the video as well, uh, so you know what they um, what they are. But this one, I believe, if I'm remembering correctly, is Garden Path. But I could very well be wrong because Troll Beads renamed a lot of things. All right, and this last bead here, this one is the Cherub of All Living. It is that beautiful uh, wing detail. You can see the detail even in the Cherub's little hair. You can see the little cross legs and even the little bum. And the Cherub of All Living is clutching a little kitty, which is why this was the very first cherub um, that I picked up. Uh, this was uh, one of the Christmas releases or holiday releases from 2021, I believe. So this one is the cherub of all living. So that is it, guys. Not a huge haul. Um, you know, this did also include, uh, like I say, a new jewelry case. And again, the offer stands. If you'd like me to film just the jewelry case all by itself, more than happy to do that. Just let me know in the comments and let me know what you think of everything. Um, I will catch you in the next one. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day.